Hello, so we are doing the fungi module survey. Today's agenda will be to see claviceps or ergot fungi which belong to Ascomycota only. Now, before we start with today's agenda, let us go through the survey of fungal module. That is, first of all, we have to see zygomycota. Zygomycota, Ascomycota and Residuomycota. These three are the phyla of uh, two fungi and in zygomycota, we have to see rhizopus and mucor we have already completed that then in ascomycota we have to see saccharomyces aspergillus penicillium and neurospora till this we have already completed then today's agenda will be to see claviceps and by tomorrow we'll be finishing ascomycota by finishing pesiza after that we'll be moving to pesidiomycota in that we have to see paxinia agaricus and astilago okay then we'll be seeing oomycota which is the fungi like organism phyla and in that phylum we will be seeing lifecycle of phytophthora and albigo then we will be seeing lichens uh, mycorrhiza fungal toxins etc so coming to today's agenda you can see that this is a ripe plant okay in the ripe plant you can see this particular black colored structure this is known as sclerotia okay this is the fungal infection in ripe plant so ergot disease is a disease caused by the uh, fungi belong to the genus claviceps okay so we are going to see how this happens these are the sexual reproductive structures and this is the mode in which they will be reproducing asexually we will be seeing everything in detail so before starting as always let us see the systematic position its domain is eukaryota then kingdom fungi or mycota phylum or division ascomycota class sorbariomycetes order hypocrelis family clavicepitaci genus claviceps and species the common species is claviceps purpu purpurea okay this claviceps uh, purpurea we will be seeing today because this is commonly known as ergot fungi okay ergot fungi are members of claviceps genus of fungi claviceps purpurea is an ergot fungus that will be affecting the ears of rye ears means what this floret right okay in this floret there are grains okay which are uh, enclosed by a husk okay that will be affected by this particular claviceps purpurea which is known as ergot fungi so it will be commonly affecting the members of the family poiesi okay and it will be causing the ergot disease then uh, the fungi mostly infect the gynecium of the host plant okay it is affecting only the ovary part okay we know that ovary will be uh, maturing into fruit okay so that particular area will be replaced its ovule etc will be completely uh, damaged by this particular fungi then uh, this particular ovary area will be turning completely black due to the accumulation of compact masses of fungal hyphae okay that will be in black color that is why this particular structure called sclerotia is replacing the seed and it is popping out of the floret of the particular uh, cereal then uh, if you are consuming if you are not separating this particular fungal infected grains and if you are consuming that we will be affected with uh, this particular uh, ergot sclerotium okay and then we'll be getting the ergot disease so we have to be mindful of that now coming to the vegetative structure we know that uh, as in many other fungi we there is an intercellular mycelium which is segmented and septate which are multinucleate as well <coughs> and uh, as a part of this uh, vegetative my mycelia you can see two types of mycelia during the asexual reproduction we can see uh, the mycelium will be whitish in color okay that will be filled with some gelatinous matrix and it is known as sphacelia okay and this sphacelia mycelium will be a soft mass of tissue that will be bearing the conidia okay this uh, soft mass of uh, mycelium that will be releasing some honey like substance which will be sweet and honey like in texture as well so this particular uh, thing will be attracting the insects so that this conia the conilia will be carried away by the insects i will show you this is the honey like substance you see within this within this uh, there will be millions of uh, conilia okay or coniliospores or spores. okay uh, in the asexual stage of this particular ergot fungi conilia is also known as spacelia okay so coniliospores is also called spores. now coming to it again uh, the, that was during the that, that is the spacelia is the immature mycelia that means uh, asexual reproduction is happening in that my, mycelia is not so mature at, at that time so that is known as that whitish whitish uh, mycelia is known as uh, like spacelia 
and that will be bearing that will be giving rise to a conidia 4 which will be bearing the conidia then coming to during the sexual reproduction the this particular immature mycelia will be turning completely into a compact mass of black colored uh, hypha called sclerotia okay that's a mature mycelia sclerotia is the immature mycelia sclerotia is the mature mycelia simple okay and this particular sclerotia will be uh, giving rise to a fleshy structure called stromata okay this stromata will be responsible for the sexual reproduction through its cavity uh, which will be containing the peritheseum so we will be coming to that so this uh, we are like after completing the vegetative uh, structure we are going to uh, reproduction that is asexual and sexual reproduction as a part of asexual reproduction as i have already told you spacelia will be the uh, mycelia which is whitish in color which will be affecting the ovary of particular plant how it will be affecting just imagine that this is the plant okay this is the plant one conidia from one see this mouse pointer is the conidia this is coming and falling on the stigma of this particular uh, like fruiting body of this particular grain okay the stigma of this uh, flower or to, to the stigma of this uh, rice flower the particular conidia will be falling okay and at the stigma this conidia will be germinating and it through the style it will be moving as a germ tube and then it will be infecting the ovary okay and from that area it will like uh, so that is the thing okay that's the mode of uh, operation of asexual reproduction now what i'm going to tell is during asexual reproduction this whitish mass of uh, mycelia is known as swacelia so this this is this is the swacelia whitish mass of mycelia it's, it's like a my uh, like mycelial mat which will be uh, completely colonizing the ovarian wall okay so from the ovary uh, after colonizing the wall of the ovary by penetrating inside okay it will be entering inside the ovary by enzymatic action it will be breaking open the uh, ovary and ovule wall etc so it, then it will be colonizing and then from there it will be giving a rise to this erect hypha called conidio 4 and at the conidio 4 there will be uh, the presence of uh, the uh, conidia okay so we know that this is the thing this is the immature mycelia that will be in the conidia 4 which will be having the conidia so this conidia apart from giving rise to this conidia 4 this mycelium this whitish mycelium will also be giving uh, rise to a honey like liquid okay that will be trapping all the conidia now insects or ants will come and uh, feed on this and that they will be taking away the conidia on their legs and wings and that will be carried to different flowers okay this is the mode of asexual reproduction so this will be happening during the favorable conditions that is between the spring and summer okay this is where moisture temperature everything nutrients everything is properly available this is the flowering season as well so this is the grass or cereal that is rye then uh, it will be forming immature mycelia called spacelia then it will be having this particular uh, honey like liquid as well so that will be trapping the conidia then conidia will be moving to another uh, flower so that's the completion of a sexual cycle and now we are going to sexual reproduction before that you understand that the immature uh, spacelia will be uh, maturing into uh, this particular sclerotium okay this is the sclerotium is the uh, mature mycelia or compact uh, hardened mycelia okay the spacelia stage matures into sclerotia stage or hardened mycelium by the end of summer season so the, by this asexual reproduction is over summer is over now uh, this particular uh, like spacelia or soft mycelia will be hardening okay then it will be uh, like taking the shape of a sclerotium like structure which we saw in the previous slide that blackish colored compact mass of hyphae so that will be falling by it will be having a hardened covering as well just like a seed then it will be falling onto the soil and it will be undergoing vernalization from here we will be seeing in the asexual i mean sexual reproduction part so this is again the same thing only okay uh, conidia is infecting the particular uh, flower of this particular uh, rye or uh, the cereal plant then honey like substance excluded it is uh, trapping millions of conidia then from there it will be carried away by the ants etc to some other part and in the other flower it will be again forming the soft mycelial tissue then again conidio for and conidia then conidia like moving like a cycle okay so this is the thing so this is a note of asexual reproduction i have already explained everything one two things remaining that is conidia are small oval uninucleate and hyaline structures we know that this mycelia is actually uh, like multinucleate but 
from this only one nuclei is like from the conidia for only one nuclei is reaching the conidia so conidia is a it's an oval multi, uh, uninucleate structure that thing you have to keep in mind now uh, yeah remaining thing i have already explained you can uh, pause the video and take note now coming to sexual reproduction as i told this imagine this is the immature sclerotium i mean so immature sclerotium or uh, the sphacelia okay immature mycelium you can say uh, this is uh, immature mycelium now it is by the end of the summer it is falling onto the soil in the form of a mature mycelium which is covered by a hardened substance uh, so that will be having dark colored pigments or black in color so this compact mass of black colored hyphae which is covered by a hard substance is known as uh, sclerotium or it is also can be called as the mature mycelium so this sclerotium this sclerotium is is this thing okay this will this is the thing okay uh, this mature this immature sphacelia uh, will be maturing in the plant to a mature uh, mycelium called sclerotium that will be falling onto the ground so till the uh, uh, like winter and autumn season is over it will be staying for a long period like this this is known as vernalization period okay without germinating now in the arrival of upcoming spring season it will be giving rise to this stalk uh, like these structures this elongated structures which is having a head which is having two parts a stalk and a head so this entire structure which is arising from this particular uh, sclerotium is known as stroma okay this single thing is known as stroma this if you are taking in a plural sense that is stromata now i am going to show you the head of this particular stroma in the upcoming slide okay so i have just zoomed in see this is the head of the uh, stroma you can see that there are multiple cavities these cavities are nothing but perithecium within the perithecium there will be the formation of asco ascus and within that there will be formation of ascospores now we are going to see how this happened this perithecium or this cavity of the stroma will be containing the male and female reproductive sex organs called antheridium and ascogodium so during the sexual reproduction there will be trichogyne and antheridium fusion the entire nuclei multi both will be multinucleate so the entire nuclei from the antheridium will be reaching the ascogonium and you can see that there will be the formation of after the transfer of nuclei there will be the formation of dikaryotic hyphae okay dikaryon stage okay let me show you one thing yeah this is the dikaryon stage okay uh, both type of nuclei are there then these uh, uh, like after this what what will happen after the formation of dikaryotic hyphae there will be the formation of crozier okay from the crozier there will be the penultimate cell this penultimate cell will be both the nuclei will be fusing in this penultimate cell it will be forming the diploid nucleus that th this particular cell will be now acting as the ascus mother cell now it will be undergoing meiotic division first then mitotic division uh, leading to the formation of eight ascospores but there is a twist these ascospores are not in this shape in the case of uh, this particular claviceps but it will be thread like so i am taking this ascus to here okay this thing i have taken from a different source just to show you the crozier formation but don't think that the spores are aligned in this fashion no the spores are elongated fiber or thread like substance this is the ascospore i'll show you in this slide as well this is the ascospore okay elongated thread like thing that will be uh, lying this uh, ascospores will be this is the single ascus within that eight, eight ascospores this is one this is two similarly six will be inside more so these eight ascospores will be lying parallel to each other now what will happen during the time of uh, germination i'll show you this thing yeah this is the ascospore this ascospore will be then taken by the wind to the particular flower then after that it will be germinating and it will be continuing the cycle okay this is the thing this is the ascospore and this entire ascospores are formed within the cavity of the stroma called the perithecium so this is the structure of perithecium okay it will be one to two layer thick okay so this is all about the sexual reproduction in uh, this particular uh, genus called claviceps so these are the things that I have just attached for for extra clarification for you this is the perithecium you see uh, mass of ascus within that e within each ascus you can see this thread like ascospores okay so just pause the video uh, and take the notes from each slide i have attached everything what i have explained here just pause the video and take the notes as per your convenience so everything is attached here so this is the life cycle note three stages i have explained 
1, 2 and 3. This is just a flowchart for the things. Thank you.